Hi, so um, I'm here with a, a, a video for the um, Magnificent Melange, uh, I think that's what it's called, for Art, Joy and Sharing, um, Art, Joy of Sharing, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I did this uh, um, small canvas with uh, just uh, 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 some mono prints that I had uh, taken from the the, this glass surface of my desk. As uh, you can see, I, I don't know how well you can see this, but I actually work on a, on a glass desk. And uh, often when I'm mopping up paint, I this I put down so that you guys could see the colors, but normally I just put it down on the glass. And when I, I just press the, the deli paper into the glass and see um, when I'm uh, you know, uh, finished with it, what comes up. So I have some nice pieces that I think will make interesting flowers. And I have some stuff that uh, will, should be good for uh, leaves. Here's some leaf stuff. I have also some, um, this is um, uh, baby wipes, only those, uh, those flushable wipes that I uh, use in the bathroom. I really like them because they, they they, they're sturdier than the baby wipe and they um, and you can let them dry and uh, and they, look at that you can actually see leaf shapes in there at least I can okay so uh, we're gonna get started um, I'm gonna do a background and um, and then start the gluing stuff down I will definitely speed this up because it's too long it'll be too long but uh, you know we should have some fun and I'll see you back at the end or I'll post some pictures. All right. Okay, should I sh tell you that I'm working in a uh, mixed media paper uh, journal? It's about seven by nine. Um, and uh, I'm regretting it immediately because it's of the kind of paper it is, it's like soaking up paint way more than, you know, um, a gessoed piece or a watercolor, or, you know, would have done. So, um, but, you know, nevertheless, we're going to continue. And I'm just putting a background down, uh, just a little blue sky and a little green grass, nothing too spectacular there. But I do want it to have some... Um, interest in it so you can see me um, maybe you know that may be hard to see in the picture but I'm not just painting it straight across I'm crisscrossing it and and uh, and moving the brush around so that it has some uh, definition uh, besides just the color and and here I start uh, layering pieces that I have, um, and the, these pieces were on originally on six by six deli paper, very thin deli paper, the kind you get at a donut shop. And uh, I tore around the the uh, the place where I could see flowers, and I arranged them. All the only thing I thought about was where the light might be coming from because there were some edges of these that had little bits of yellow on suggesting light so I uh, I uh, tried to make those pieces all face the same way um, yeah and you know if you're um, con considering doing this and, and thinking well you know all I see is blobs of paint uh, you know, I think the process of seeing flowers is the same kind of thing that happens in your brain when you um, when you lie on your back and you look at clouds. You know, we used to do this when we were kids. Um, and you kind of um, relax and you let your mind go and you and you um, maybe squint your eyes a bit and oh look at that there's something there and um, you're not interested I'm not interested in making something that looks like a specific flower uh, you know obviously not that's not the point here the um, the point is to make something that looks flower-ish you know like because that's the brain 
the human brain seems to organize things in in broad categories and y you know um how we do that is uh is kind of magical but you know it's the same way in which you um you, 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 your brain knows that uh, a lion and a cheetah and a and a house cat are all cats, and it's not just about language. It's like we we see there is a similarity there, and 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 that's what we're we're after when we do these kind of abstracted things. We're at, not after uh, you know this specific flower. We're after flower-ish, you know, something that kind of will generally tweak the brain to think that, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, anyway, so un enough about that. Um, one thing that did happen that I should tell you about is that I did, after I get these leaf shapes um, glued down, I, uh, I, I give it a good dry, and then I go, went back in it with some extra paint and and uh, reinforce the colors particularly on the leaves because I didn't uh, I didn't think they stood out enough um, and and you'll be able to see that in the next clip um, but um, you know me being me I didn't press the right button and so I have no video of that uh, painting process which may or may not be a good thing because it would have made this video quite a bit longer this is obviously speeded up. Um, I will slow down the uh, the next clip because it's where I kind of put illustration lines in around the flower so you can see what I see when you're looking at it. <laughs> you know, that's, and that's what the, those are for in, in my mind. It just reinforces what, um, for the viewer, what I am seeing um, when I look at those um, blobs of paint <laughs> yeah so uh, I think we're almost done that yeah we seem to be yeah and now yeah we're drying that and uh, I took a little break and we were supposed to come back and paint those things and I didn't push the button so annoyed with myself Second time in two days I'd done that. Lord. No, if I had a brain, it would be lonesome. Okay, so here I am trying to figure out which pen I want to use. I'm going to outline the I'm showing you where I had the I had increased the color uh, definition on those on a few places in the in the picture, and uh, and then I'm looking for the right uh, pen. I I actually took a slightly thicker one uh, because I thought it might be easier for you to see. Yep, yeah, so we're just, you know, putting um, putting edgings on those leaves, uh, putting a little bit of uh, vein work in the leaves. Uh, you know, all these little things kind of increase the, uh, the uh, ease at which the viewer sees the, um, the plant. And then I finish up the... Um, the, the flower petals and uh, you know I had a great time I think it, it came it came out really well I like both of these and if um, you uh, you want me to want to see me do some more of this stuff I'm gonna have a, a, a video out uh, with the hop that's coming out at the end of the month um, and I'll um, when I get that video organized, I'll uh, I'll put a, a link in the description box below. Yeah, and there are some f 
photographs, some close-up photographs for you to, to look at um, uh, at the end of the video. So please stay tuned. So if you if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up uh, and uh, leave me a comment. That would be lovely. I'd love to hear from you, questions, anything I can um, uh, help with. And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm a tiny wee channel and I could uh, use a few more people. That would be great. Okay, I hope you have a good day. Bye.